What's going on guys, Tails86 here with Gamer Fusion, and today guys we're going to be checking out the preview build from PAX of Scapegoat 2. Now for a lot of you uh, older fans of my channel, uh, you guys will remember I did an interview with the creator of the original Scapegoat, uh, Ian Stalker. Now this is of course, again, his sequel, uh, with a lot of modifications and a lot of improvements. So. Let's go ahead, guys, and take a look at the game. Now, this is, again, a preview build. This is not the full game. Uh, the full game will be releasing sometime by, before the end of this year. So, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, this game also does support Xbox 360 controls, so you can do that. But anyway, one by one they arrived, each forsaking the freedom you had granted them. Here they shall stay forever, along with anyone who dares step inside the stronghold. So go ahead and press A, and let's go ahead and show off all of the game that uh, is given to us. So, you're going to see a huge improvement compared to uh, the original uh, version of this game, which uh, if you guys have not already checked out that video, uh, the video is on my channel, which you guys can definitely check out. And uh, I'll be, uh, in case if you guys are feeling a little lazy and if you don't want to have to go search my channel for it, I'll include a link in the description uh, to the actual video showing off the first time, uh, as well as the review and the interview that I did with Ian uh, on a scapegoat. So again guys, um, I really like uh, just everything about this game so far, like the music and everything uh, really is enhanced uh, a lot better than the first one. Uh, the first one, uh, it only gave you the ability to use uh, keyboard and mouse. Uh, it was an okay, it's an okay feature, but they do recommend you in this game to uh, use a uh, controller, uh, specifically a uh, Xbox 360 controller, but if you can't find a 360 controller that's wired or anything for your PC, and if you want to be a little bit cheap, you can also go out and buy a uh, Logitech F310. Uh, I think that also works good. I think that's what it's called. I think it's the F310. Uh, if I'm not right about that, feel, please feel free to correct me. But this game is mostly about solving puzzles, so there are going to be lots of rooms that are going to have keys, and basically the object is to grab the keys in the area and get all the keys. And again, like I mentioned in the review, uh, this kind of reminds me again, just like Solomon's Key, uh, the exact same way. And basically at the end of each portion you're going to find a lamb. How brave of you to come back for us. There are more of us ahead. You must pick the path ahead and travel through either the treetops or the icy underground. Okay, so there are going to be a couple of things that are different, again, from this game. Not only just the graphics, uh, though the graphics in this game look fantastic. Like, I mean, I saw the screenshots when, he was, when Ian was first talking about this game, and they looked great. Like, I mean, and this game still looks amazing, even from just... Even now playing it, like, it still feels amazing. So, there are two entrances we're going to take. Uh, we can take the one up here, which this little switch right here can take us up there. But we're going to go through this one first, uh, and then I'll show you guys that one, because that's actually one of the uh, things that's also different about this game. This game has a lot of secret areas. So, in this room, we're going to be dealing with uh, Reapers. So, there's a lot of Reapers in this room, so we gotta be very careful when we're going against these guys, because we cannot really attack them, so if you try to uh, headbutt them, and uh, I'll go over even the controls for anyone that is uh, interested in this game when using an Xbox 360 controller, uh, you can use uh, left and right to move, A for jumping, B for using your mouse, friend, and then R for charging, or RT for charging, excuse me. And whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Well, I wanted to take him out, but oh well. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep moving on. Now, this one was a tricky. Or actually, it is a tricky puzzle, so. Let me see how this one's gonna be. I got a feeling I need to put that right there. Ah, wait a second. About to mess up already. There we go. That's what we're supposed to do. Okay. So, go up here, nail that down, okay, um, I think I, there you go, yeah, 
That's what I need to do. That's what. That's it. Okay. Then let's put our mouse right there. Awesome. Awesome. Nice style for the puzzles, Ian. I like this. I like this a lot. So, uh, if any of you guys are looking into uh, purchasing this game, or if you've been uh, seeing any of my videos about the original Escape Goat, you can be able to soon purchase this game on Steam Greenlight. This game has been greenlit, or excuse me, the uh, Escape Goat original game has been greenlit. So if you guys not have not already been able to go check out uh, anything about the scapegoat or if you're interested in buying a scapegoat you can also buy it I believe still on Humble Bundle I believe if uh, if Ian still has it on Humble Bundle I think he does but I mean feel free to correct me on that but anyway here's also another cool te uh, feature that you guys can use uh, when you have the magic hat you can be able to press on X and it will actually without me getting killed like that <laughs> Ian's probably laughing like crazy right now because I just failed on trying to explain something. So anyway though, when you get this magic hat, basically uh, it's known as the hat of translocation. Now basically this hat though is used for one thing, and that's used to teleport you. Like so. To teleport you have to use the X button, and then to bring back the mouse with the hat you just press on B. Now you can also fling the mouse at... I didn't... at... whoa. About to mess up again. Like, seriously. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Alright, now, go across. There we go. Like, I swear, Ian is, like, probably laughing like crazy. He's just like. He's like, Tails, you're failing. You're failing bad. You're failing at my game that I trusted you with. Anyway. Alright, now. Okay, this is a very interesting room. Um. Okay, lay that down. Alright, you got the magic hat. Okay. Okay, I've got a funny feeling. I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna try for it anyway. Oh my god, no! Alright, let's try that one more time. Alright, mouse, go down there. Oh my god, I made it! Oh my god, yay! <laughs> That was Daredevil. That was too much Daredevilish right there. That was being way too much of a Daredevil on that attempt right there. Okay, why did I do that? I don't understand why I did that. There was no point in that. puzzles. Anyway, so let's go ahead and knock out these portions right here, and let's go save the sheep! Yay! Congratulations, this is the end of the preview experience. The final game will let you explore ten amazing zones and find all kinds of secret rooms. Now, of course, guys, we're not going to end it just yet. We are going to show off the other room that I showed you guys before that I did not go into, but again, also, if you guys want to send any uh, messages to Ian, he would love to hear your comments. Send them over to ian at magicaltimebean.com. So, anyway, let's go ahead and go back through it again. And we're going to show off now the uh, other stages. And we're going to go back through these again to uh, show them off. But I love this music, though. I mean, you guys are probably just listening to this music, and it just sounds, like, so awesome. Well, at least when I'm not talking, at least. So... While I'm kind of going through these levels, I'll just let you guys hear some of the awesome music. So Y'all don't need to hear me talking the whole time. You want to hear the game music.
music is so awesome, though. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm I'm talking again, I know, I'm sorry, but guys, that music is just so freaking awesome, though, sounding. You have to admit that. It is so freaking amazing. It sounds even better than uh, the first one. Like, Ian, I'm really, I'm really surprised, dude. Like, this music is so amazing. Like, I mean, I'm not even joking. Like, the music sounds ten times better even than the first one. This one actually, this music actually, I think, kills your first one. I mean, no offense to you for how good you made the first one, but this one, I think the music is even better. And you did a lot of remixing, I think, with uh, some of the ones from the first game. Because I remember this one was from the, uh, the first game, when you would find the sheep. Plus, the graphics more look like, uh, they almost look like they're... 3D mixed with 16-bit, like it's so cool, and I even like the shadowing effect when you're moving the goat and everything, that's too cool. So anyway, now of course it says this door looks like it leads underground, we could try finding a way up. Well, we are going up, so now let's go ahead and head up here, and we are now going into the forest of, or it's called the Woods of Delipsity. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, now this is the room full of explosives, and this is not gonna be cool. Whoa! Oh my god. Watch out. Okay, this room has Reapers, and I hate Reapers. The Reapers in this game cannot be beaten unless you crush them. But I do like that, though, because it adds even more of a, a difficulty to the game, I believe. Fire that. There we go. That's what I need. Now I need to get over here. That's what I need. Alright, let's crush that other Reaper. Ooh! Nice job. Nice job on that one. Alright, let's send the mouse up there. Awesome! Alright, let's move on. Oh my god. This room's got a lot of explosives. Okay. Um, uh, okay, let's try... No. Right there. Oh my god. Oh my god, the whole entire... F Good night! Oh my god. Okay. Alright. Phew! Alright, yay. One key, two key, three key, four, five, got them all, here we go. Alright, let's head into this next room. Oh crap, how is this one supposed to- oh my god! Okay, uh, let's try that again. <laughs> okay, there's a key down there. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! Darn you, Ian! Darn you and this Reaper having to be right here of all places. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Go the other way. Go the other way. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh my god, I made it. Yes! 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 <laughs> yes! mouse down right there. Let's go up this. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, I guess I can hit that? Yeah, I can. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go up here. And... Do I hit the switch? Yes. Alright, cool. Go and hit that. Alright. Awesome. Hit that one. And awesome. Okay, that's how you do that. Awesome. Alright, let's get our mouse with us. Alright. So guys, it looks like we have reached uh, the end of this showing of the preview build for Escape Go 2. And if you guys have any questions that you want to ask me, or if you would like to ask Ian, as I told you guys, please do uh, feel free to send him any questions at Ian 
at MagicalTimeBeam.com. And, I mean, I want to personally thank, again, Ian Soccer for letting me be able to try out this preview build and just letting me be able to participate in playing his game and giving my personal experience or my personal opinion about it. Because, I mean, Ian, again, it looks amazing. The soundtrack sounds awesome. I'm really loving this, and this is just the preview build. I cannot wait for the full game. So if you guys have not already, if you want to, please, if you have not already, purchase a scapegoat on Humble Bundle. Uh, send it those green lights even more to go ahead and try to hopefully get the game out even sooner for the original scapegoat. And of course, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Big thank you again, Ian. And this has been Tells 86 slash Weekly Reviews with Gamer Fusion telling you that Gamer Fusion empowers your gaming. Thanks again, guys, for watching.